most of the composers are working with a MIDI keyboard. You have a lot of different articulation you want to use and you can choose from. But the articulations are most of the time placed somewhere at the bottom or somewhere at the top of your MIDI controller. And I found it very frustrating to find my articulations on the MIDI keyboard. There is a solution for that and this is the Stream Deck as a controller for your articulations. Hi, my name is Dennis. I'm a composer and researcher in music and technology and I always are looking for workflow optimization. So in this video we will have two steps. Uh, in the first step we are downloading the MIDI plugin within the Stream Deck environment and in the second step I will show you how you can create buttons including the note on and note off MIDI message in order to control your articulations in Cubase. In this video I assume that you already have the Stream Deck controller. So uh, this video is made for composers who work with Cubase, but I think you also can work with Logic or with Reason or another environment or Ableton. Uh, but you of course need the Stream Deck controller, otherwise it will not work. Alright, so the first step is that you are downloading within the Stream Deck environment the MIDI plugin. You're going to this label and it says Stream Deck Store. So you're opening the Stream Deck Store, you're going to Plugins and here you are searching for the MIDI plugin. And as you can see I have already installed it. So in your case, there will be a blue button and you first need to install the plugin. All right, after you have installed the plugin, on the right side in this column, you will see MIDI. And you have several options such as control change, program change, not on and not off. In this case, we will use the not on and not off. So I will create a completely new field here and what you're doing is you're dragging this here on your Stream Deck. And what you can directly see on the Stream Deck that you see what you're doing here in the environment directly on your controller. There's one thing that's very important is that you first also need to set up your Stream Deck. And when you are going here at the very bottom of this field you see it says help and logging and you can here see a website a forum and a youtube channel where you can can see tons of information about how you can set up the stream deck midi plugin so i would advise you to pause this video now and you're going to the website in order to set up for your situation uh, the midi plugin so all right after you have set up the MIDI plugin within the Stream Deck. We are starting now to create our articulations. So in this case we have a node on node off. We call this for example Legato. It's the first channel. Uh, you can leave it as a push button and here you can select the key from and we can say from uh, for example C3, C4 but you also can use Cubase or Nuendo expression maps. But in this case we will leave it on C4. And here in the keys you need to define which node parameter should be sent to your door. And what we are doing here is we are sending C-1 to our door. Because for our plugin in this case BBC Orchestra the very first node is legato. And then we have here our MIDI out port and MIDI in port. Um, in this case we are selecting DAW to Stream Deck and the MIDI import is MIDI Stream Deck to DAW. And that's it. So you can of course also change the look of the, of the button. Uh, for simple reasons now I just leave it what it is. And now we are going back to Cubase and here we have our environment. And now when I'm clicking on Legato, you will see 
is automatically jumping to legato. And then you are doing this for all the other articulations. So legato is C minus one, uh, the long articulation is uh, C sharp minus one, the long consordinio articulation is D one, the long flautando articulation is D sharp one, and so on and so on. What you can see, I, I have mapped it and then I have gathered all the articulation in one row. So for me now it's very easy to jump between the different articulations and to select different articulations while I'm playing. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you had learned something and you can also use your stream deck to control your articulations. If you have some suggestions or comments, please leave a comment in the comment section under this video. Thanks, bye bye.